Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ace and I'm back with another reaction video. Here we go. All right, so today I'm gonna to be reacting to All The Man That I Need by Whitney Houston. Now, according to Wikipedia, this song is from her 1990 album, I'm Your Baby Tonight. It was released as the album's second single in 1991. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it and see what this is going to be about. Let's pause for a minute so far so great i'm loving this um i have to say i really like the opening sax i think whitney's voice is very agile and plush uh i think the chorus is striking so yeah let's keep going and in the morning when i kiss his eyes he takes me Alright, All the Man I Need, uh, so I like that a whole lot. Um, let me just get into what I think the song is about first. So on the shallow surface, it seems like it's a song about just being in love. 
However, as the song goes on, I started to wonder if maybe the man she was talking about was God. <laughs> you know, she said, um, you know, he fills me up. He gives me love. You know, it sounds kind of hymnal-esque to me. Uh, that plus the presence of the choir at the end really makes me wonder if maybe they may have been, you know, trying to do it like a double meaning type of thing with this song. I think it could work either way. So the song is perfection. Uh, the arrangement is gorgeous. The subtle piano during the verses was nice. The guitar work was also pretty subtle, you know, enhancing the balance measure. Uh, I like the snaps during the verses and how they're replaced with like a full sounding drum beat during the chorus. Speaking of which, the powerful synthesizer burst during the chorus really makes it feel like a torch song. The smooth saxophone work set against Whitney's tender inflections I think really sells it. Uh, I know Kenny G was the saxophonist here. A lot of sax solos can be heavy handed and put the listener off, but his chimed in at the right moments were symmetrical, unobtrusive, and added gentility to the song. Whitney's vocals are very elegant, brisk, exciting, powerful, and soulful. She hits every existing and non-existing emotional beat of the song just perfectly. She pulls off sounding both vulnerable and strong very well. The song has like a moody atmospheric quality, especially in the verses and musical mobility with a nice build up to that final chorus. Whitney's voice alone could usually make her ballads listenable, but here the music is also a key ingredient. Again, the chorus is the crowning achievement, particularly the post saxophone solo. I love the dramatic key change toward the end and then those insane ad libs. You know, a lot of people will point to I Will Always Love You as like the epicenter of Whitney's vocal prowess, largely because of that like super long note that she holds at the end of that song. But I honestly think that this song might be her actual vocal peak. The video. So there was something sterile about the soft, bright setting of the music video that reminded me of a church atmosphere. Then when the rain and lightning hit, it almost seemed like she was talking to God, which leads me back to what I said earlier about how I think the song could also be interpreted as having a both secular and religious theme. Uh, the end, when she's on stage with the choir backing her, I found that part really stirring. It really matched the climactic moment of the song. So I would give the song a letter grade of an A+. Uh, her voice soars effortlessly, supported by the lush, warm, yet very big production of the music. I would give the video a letter grade of an A. Uh, I think the video was simple, yet very well shot. Whitney looked beautiful and full of vibrance here. So overall grade would be, I would say, an A+. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely iPod worthy. This is playlist worthy. But what do you think? What do you think of Whitney Houston's All the Man That I Need? Leave me some comments, like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.